So yesterday, I went to the Miami Heat vs. LA Clippers game. And I know what you're asking yourself. Clippers fans exist? And why the hell would I be going to the game with one? Well, as many as you know, this right here is my boy Thomas. Now, you may recognize Thomas from his many appearances on this channel. I don't know, he was saying and one doing this all the time, so I was a little puzzled. In the Miami Heat do play the Clippers tomorrow, which will be... Oh yeah, let me add to that. Uh, Miami Heat will get destroyed by the Clippers. Thomas, it's just... Oh, maybe he just got that pamper. <laughs> I came with putting um, you know, Tyler Hero in the in the. No, continue, George. What I'm the... sorry to interrupt you. You are... What the fuck is happening? And you'll never guess what country Thomas is from. Messy, 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 messy. But that still doesn't explain why he's a Clippers fan. Well, who's the greatest NBA player of all time from that same country? Well, that would be me. No, Luis Scola. I said the best player, not the ugliest. The best player would be Manu Ginobili, who played with this guy, Kawhi Leonard, who's of course now an LA Clipper. And that brings us here. Whoa, can, can you move the camera up a little bit? Thank you. That brings us here to this fire Peruvian restaurant called Ceviche 105, about a 10 minute walk from the arena. The craziest thing I saw while walking to the arena was this Apple ad promoting the camera on the new iPhone. My question is, why the f would they use a crying baby as the photo? Like this ain't even no regular crying baby. The JIT looks like it just got its tax return and owes another $400. Anyways, enough free promo for Apple, which was likely their goal to begin with. Somehow we lost Hector along the way, because I think he was distracted by a BBL. But it's all good, because he made it there in the end. Hey! Now Tyler Hero was out for this game with a headache, but we all know that's code for he's getting his ass traded soon. So you know my boy Hector had to cop that Jame Jaquez gear. Now me? I'm not a big baller like Hector, so I just got the free hat that was offered by Kia, which was actually pretty nice. But if you want to help me be a big baller, make sure to like and subscribe. I do appreciate it. We eventually get to our seats, and I had to say what's up to my homie John Crotty. Me and him are officially boys. This is now his third appearance in one of my vlogs. And of course, I had to show some admiration to the newly hung UD jersey. Put some respect on my guy's name. Meanwhile, the game is about to tip off, and Thomas is absolutely locked in on Kawhi Leonard. He's been recording for about 10 minutes straight now. As the game finally does begin, we get a sign of things to come with a Hayward Highsmith brick from three. Of course, that's exactly what I paid my good money to see. The first quarter is almost over now, and Thomas is still taking videos of Kawhi Leonard that he'll likely never watch again. It's starting to get a bit creepy. I paid a lot of money for this garbage team, so I try not to have my phone out too much, but I did have to record until I get a bucket. And of course, Bam Adebayo misses the wide open layup. I'm not surprised because he's shooting 20% this year, but he did get the putback for the easy lay. Probably the most entertaining part of the game I didn't actually get a video of, but it was these kids that are walking off playing musical chairs. And when they announced the prize was a Hayward Highsmith autograph, one of the kids completely gave up. I don't blame you, kid. We did see a beautiful proposal though. I looked over at my girlfriend Amaya and told her a proposal at a heat game would be awesome. She said she'd kill me, so I think I'll pass. We did see Bernie get a little provocative and absolutely f***ed this sign, which was a pretty decent omen considering the refs absolutely f***ed us later. Caleb Martin started the fourth quarter with three straight phantom fouls on James Harden's flopping bum ass and then got absolutely hammered. No call. At the end of the night, it was all good because I still had a great time with the gang. Except, I have to get this hat off of Maya. I need to stop her from becoming a Heat fan before it's too late. I forgot to mention, we drove across the state from Fort Myers, so we have a long drive back, meaning I don't get to stay to see my favorite white boy, Luke Kennard. If you know, you know, and if you don't know, go watch my other vlogs. Just got home, past 11, the cat was waiting for us. You changed teams. It's a good night, my boy. Uh, good night, my boy, All right, let's get it. Look. Pull up in the city, trying to get that dead fast I should do it on my own, I don't need no dead weight like, Had to kill him off, yeah, I need a headspace You know this homegrown bitch don't offend me hmm. 